Alright. I am back again. I've been thinking. It did, that inverter did run the AG 10s, and I use 6010 5P pluses, but what I weld these pearls together with on my engine drive, sometimes I use these. Uh, sometimes I use 6011 or 5P plus 6010s on the pearls. Um, you know, I also use, you know, everyone knows Lincoln's information that nobody uses. <laughs> You know, everyone knows what these are. These are standard 6010 P's. You probably used them in high school. You probably ain't used them since, but a lot of people use them on construction sites and welding structure for heat passes and yada yada yada. But I don't I don't know if it'll actually run this one. I know I've ran, like I say, the, the five P these are three thirty seconds by the way. But today while I was Yeah, this this red one's a little bit longer than these. Um yeah, I've been working on my boat today and getting it ready to go fishing. Temperature is fixing to be 60 degrees, water temperature, so them crappie should be in the creeks. But anyways, I wanted to try to do a test video with the red rod that everybody has probably used, if you've ever welded. It. Kind of like using the 6013. You use it the first week ever welding, and you'll never use it again because it's a waste of rod. You don't use them for anything besides practice, and they're no good. Anyways, let's get into this. Um, let me open found one of these red ones first. I got it on my Multimatic 200. Uh, it's an inverter. I think it's 55 amps. I'm going to do a run if it'll stay lit with this, on this quarter plate, and then I'll try it on the purlin, which is 14 gauge in the clip. Um, like I said, I use these on the purlin, but I, I use it with my engine drive, so it, it doesn't have a problem with it. So, let's see. Well, let me go turn it on. Let's see what it'll do. I have a feeling this one's not gonna work, but I know the 6010 will can make it work by forcing it in there but you're not going to be able to do that all day long I can tell you that right now I'll go ahead and try to run the rest of this rod and I'll switch to this one yeah it just doesn't want to you're not going to be able to stack metal or I mean you're not going to be consistent like this it wouldn't work circuit voltage just is too it's too low it, it can't keep the arc stable but this is the 6010 also 5p plus like I was saying it will run all day long it's not a 6011 I'll show you right there running So I don't know what the fuck, why the fuck is different. Nothing with the fuck. I mean, I, they're both 6010, right? Something in the flux is different. So this won't work on an inverter. I mean, it will, but you have to force it. You're gonna, you're gonna be wore out by the end of the day trying to use these. They're good rods though for a DC machine.
But anyways, I run on that purling. I thought that these would work on that purling because that's what I use them for. But it will. But I will. will I'll stay still. Uh, this is common right here. The clips or whatever you, the person uses for clips, whoever you are. Uh, depends on what size and everything like that. But I'll run this just because I got to get it. I know it probably won't. It, this ain't going to work. Something about the clubs is just so different. That's so weird. One's double the price than the other, also. On this weld through primer is usually it's actually kind of it sticks a lot if you ever you, you know work with the type of material and it just the, the 5p just <laughs> pushes right through it like i said before they're both 6010 one's 5p plus and one's 5p well, there it is 